As the birthplace of the petroleum industry in Western Canada, Turner Valley is celebrating its centennial in May 2014. The history of Alberta changed forever when drillers brought in the Discovery Well, Dingman No. 1, on the 14th day of May in 1914. This discovery put the Turner Valley oil field on the map and drew the attention of international oil investors to Western Canada. For the old timers, gas bubbling up from the ground was the smell of money and meant a job during the hard times of the 1930s. From the gas plant, we can see evidence of the geological formations that are still producing oil and gas a hundred years later. Innovative pioneers bet on the potential of oil and gas in Turner Valley. Their successful discoveries in 1914, and again in 1924 and 1936, encouraged the development of this complex oil field. By 1942, Turner Valley was producing more than 95% of the petroleum in Canada. This oil field attracted investors and international oil companies to Alberta. That's why the center of the Canadian oil industry is in Calgary. Pipelines from this plant started delivering natural gas to Calgary in 1921, and for decades, the Turner Valley field was the only supply of natural gas for the city. The first propane plant in Canada is here at the gas plant, dating back to 1948. And the second sulfur plant in Western Canada is here too, going back to 1952. Sulfur was a byproduct of making the natural gas safe for consumers and became an important commodity during the industrial boom after World War II. Those shiny tanks up on the hill are called Horton Spheres. Built in 1942, they were the first in Western Canada and helped make aviation fuel for World War II fighter planes. Early gas flaring, while producing liquids like gasoline, turned out to be a wasteful idea. So the Alberta government created a regulatory body in 1938, today's Energy Resources Conservation Board. Working with industry, it has found ways to produce oil and gas efficiently and safely. Visitors to the museum will learn about entrepreneurs, innovative technology, gas processing, pipelining, the role of government regulators and conservation, and the story of how this old gas plant was reclaimed. This site illustrates reclamation efforts used by the oil industry today. The berm separates the historic site from the river, and chemicals used during the plant's operating life have been cleaned up. Visitors learn about modern reclamation techniques at the museum. This museum is going to be important not only because of the artifacts from the oil industry, but because of the stories of the families that have lived here for generations. The uh, plan is really quite an interesting one. It has been put together so it can be developed sequentially. Uh, the actual pieces to the uh, project uh, are ones that you would expect. There's a visitor center right up front to take care of our, our folks that are coming to see us. Then the orientation center uh, then a really interesting component, it's the, uh, it's the classroom uh, function for kids and it's both an indoor and an outdoor experience. Then there's a major uh, outdoor guided tour that will take you through the nitty gritty of the industrial buildings that you see on this site and it is a big site. And then the last piece is the piece that I think is the most interesting. It's a linear gallery and it's a chance for you to self-guide yourself through the, uh, this ramp that takes you up through pipe galleries and past vessels and in through a building and you end up on top of this great big vessel with a, a huge platform on it. It's a viewing platform, the spectacular 360 degree view of the whole site. It's, it's quite wonderful. The project itself uh, can be completed in two years from beginning to end. The Turner Valley Gas Plant is a nationally and provincially designated historic site. Visitors to this museum will learn about the past, the present, and the future of the oil industry in Canada.